Well, I'm a great fan of Gutenberg, and I think that the dissemination of content is always exciting. Uh, at whatever generation and however it occurs, the, the disintermediation, the, re the removal of any restrictions, whether they're technical or legal or what have you, that allows content to flow out to more people in real time, I think brings those people closer to the events that we're covering and to the, the world that they live in. Uh, I think it's a great evolution and, an, and it's a logical evolution. Um, we witnessed the same thing with still pictures in the 80s and 90s as they went to the web. Prior to that, we would deliver them to newspapers and they would select the images they chose and they would print them on their pages. And that's all the public saw. But once we were on the web, many, many more people could have access to much more of what we were doing and make their own decisions about what to watch and what to think. Video, it's the logical next progression for this. And I think it's a great, great moment for the public to consume news and to be closer to the origins and the raw material of news that they have not yet or normally don't see because it's edited and it's processed and it's packaged into some other larger or different medium. Reuters Television is a, uh, an evolution of a, uh, a company called Viz News which was created by the BBC, NBC and Reuters back in the 70s. Reuters took full control in the mid-90s. We are a B2B. We supply as our core business in video, natural sound video coverage of breaking news stories from around the world. So we'll position cameras in places like Kabul when no one else is there, or in Tehran, or in Africa, Latin America, Asia, anywhere that we believe that there is the opportunity for news to break. Um, so in that capacity, we have been a primary source of news video for major networks around the world, including NBC, Fox, BBC, Televisa, Mexico City, TV Globo in Brazil, RTL in Germany, NHK in Japan, etc. So we've been doing this for a very long time, but it's been high resolution, full broadcast quality analog video until a year ago when we introduced our, our video as MPEG-2 files. So having the capacity, the capability, if you will, to take our analog video and then package it into neat individual stories, Nat Sound B-roll video with scripts, metadata, allowed us to then start pumping the video instead of on satellites into very expensive receiving and processing equipment at the client end onto websites and into databases where it can be more broadly accessible. Up until recently, our client base would be someone like the BBC, for example, who would receive that raw material and they would bake it into their finished programming. So it would be the over the shoulder or the cutaway shot as the anchor spoke, showing the actual event that they were addressing. Now we can feed the web. Now we can deliver three different formats, six different, three, three different resolutions. Uh, web, uh, in the website, it's, it's Windows, it's uh, Flash, it's real, 300 to 700K with the metadata with a script in an environment that's keyword searchable so that people can go in and retrieve the videos that they want to use on their website in, with a minimum of effort. It's a traditional B2B subscription license based model that is built out of our experience with newspapers whose rates are driven by circulation or television broadcasters whose rates are driven by TV households.